Welcome to Race Face TV in this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. Let's start out west with Race Face Driver Adam Lemke, who was at Madera Speedway for the Lucas Oil Summertime Horsepower Nationals in the USAC Western Speed 2 Midget Series on Saturday. Adam has dominated the Pavement Series with three consecutive wins in three races. So how do you back that up? Win your heat race? and then lead all but one lap of the 30 lap feature for his fourth consecutive win and take a commanding lead in both the pavement and the overall USAC championship. You know, to have a car that has been this dominant all year, you need to have the right setup and the ability to make changes as needed. And Adam has one of the best, if not the best, in crew chief Randy Chastain. But Randy is much more than just a crew chief, as Adam explains. He's a part of our family. This weekend, Randy's mother-in-law passed away. We here at Race Face, on behalf of ADL Motorsports, want to send our condolences and our prayers to Randy, his wife Susan, and the entire Chastain family. Staying on the West Coast, where we also find Jesse Love, who was back in his BCRA midget for two nights of racing in the dirt. On Friday, Jesse was at Ocean Speedway in his number five, 5150 Energy Drink midget, bringing home a fourth place finish in his heat and then a sixth place finish in the A main. Then on Saturday, Jesse was at Petaluma Fairground Speedway, where he came in fourth in his heat and finish fifth in the A main. Up next for Jesse, back to BCR Midgets on the pavement this time at Stockton 99 Speedway on June 16th. And maybe a little road racing at Sonoma in the INEX Legend Car Series. We now go to Michigan International Speedway for Friday's ARCA Zamango 200, where we find the showstopper Sheldon Creed and his number 28 United Rentals MDM Motorsports Toyota. Sheldon has done everything but win this year with five top finishes in six races. But all of that was about to change as he qualified P2 and then dominated the race, leading a race high 64 laps that included the last 63 laps. Sheldon crossed the finish line nine seconds ahead of the second place car. Let's hear from the race winner. Sheldon, even though it was only your 25th ARCA Series race, it really seems like it has been a long time coming here, and it really seems like finally you made it to victory lane. Yes, sir. I mean, it's been uh, it's been tough. I've, I've won in probably so many different race cars, and I usually, I guess, wouldn't take too long to, to get the job done, but um, this is just a lot harder to get the job done. It's not just me and the race car anymore. It's, it's a whole team, so I think it took me a while to get used to that and, and, and how to drive the race cars, but um, finally put it all together. Now, not only did you win the race, but you also took the championship point lead over your teammate Zane Smith. Is it too early to be thinking points, or is that always in your mind? Uh, I don't think it's too early. I think we've been thinking about points since round one. Um, we've been consistent. We've, we've done what we need to do, and uh, I think I don't think that battle's over yet. I think the 41 and I are going to go at it the rest of the season, and um, you know, hopefully we're on top at the end. Now, is that competition going to be all the more tougher because you guys are teammates coming out of the same shop? Is that going to make it that much more competitive? Oh, yeah. I mean, um, our setups are close every weekend, and uh, we both have fast race cars every weekend, so it, it puts a, a lot of it in, the, in us drivers' hands. So I think that's what makes it fun. Uh, Zane and I are pretty good friends, and uh, you know, we, we race each other hard, but, uh, but we're still buddies off the track. So um, I don't think that battle's over yet. I think we're going to see that the rest of the year. All right. Congrats again. As you heard in that video clip, Sheldon has now taken back the points lead from teammate Zane Smith. Sheldon will be in action this weekend at Madison International Speedway in Oregon, Wisconsin for the ARCA HERS Potato Chip 200. Race face driver Sam Mayer was at Ace Speedway on Saturday night in the Cars Tour driving for Dale Jr. Motorsports in his number nine Menard Chevrolet. It was a short night for Sam as he got caught up in the big one early in the race that ended his night. Last night, Sam returned to the Bojangle Summer Shootout at Charlotte Motor Speedway in the Legend Pro Car Series. They raced in wet conditions, but that didn't stop Sam from bringing home the victory. 
Round two is tonight. Last year, Sam won the Young Lions Championship, and it looks like he has his sights on the Pro Championship for 2018. Drivers Anthony Alfredo and Ryan Vargas were off last week, but will be back in action this weekend in the NASCAR k and Pro Series East at New Jersey Motorsports Park for the first road course race of the year. Let's now take a look at the race face next drivers. Bryce Bizanson was at South Sound Speedway in his newly painted 41 Legend car, where he was fastest in qualifying in the Young Lions division and fifth overall, setting a personal best time. In the heat race, Bryce brought home a first place win in the Young Lions and finished fourth overall. And in the A main, again, first in Young Lions and sixth overall, even after suffering a spin that sent him to the back of the field. Bryce was to race at Dimming Speedway on Friday in the mini sprint, but Mother Nature did not cooperate and the race was canceled due to rain. Up next for Bryce, mini sprints at Dimming Speedway on June 15th. Next driver, Joe Valento, was at Princeton Raceway in his 03 micro sprint on Friday night for his last probationary race at that track. The probationary period is in place for young rookie drivers that require them to start at the tail end of every race. In his heat race, Joe finished fifth. That earned him a 10th place starting position for the feature. Joe was charging to the front, gaining a position every two laps when he had to avoid a car that had spun in front of him but was hit by another car that caused major damage to his exhaust system, resulting in the car losing its power. He was not able to maintain race speed, ending his night. Well, that's racing. Up next for Joe, he is headed to Port City Raceway in Tulsa, Oklahoma for the next two weeks to compete against some of the top micro sprint racers in the country. The Soco Motorsports Red Army invaded Texas Motor Speedway for the USAC Quarter Midget Wild West Nationals. On day one, they were able to put nine of 10 cars into the A mains on Saturday. Saturday was an awesome day seeing both Colby and Justice winning national titles. Justice took first in Heavy World Formula, third in Heavy Unrestricted Animal, and third in Heavy 160, while Colby won Senior Animal and placed third in Light 160. Think about that for a moment. They got podium finishes in five of the nine races. Up next, the Mini Indy Regionals in Indianapolis, all in preparation for the Indy USAC Nationals. Well, that's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. As you can see, racing is in full swing and that won't change this week. If you haven't liked our Facebook page, please do so at facebook.com forward slash Raceface TV and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Raceface TV. And if you need to catch up on any of our shows that you might have missed, check out On Demand at Raceface.tv. And as always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities, and we will see you back here next week for more Race Face Driver updates.